Hello, everyone. Welcome to I'd Back That with Glory Hound. Dr. Glory Hog. Greg Dixon. And today we have Kickstarters we're going to talk about. Uh, what else did we want to talk about today? Did we want to talk about... I know we talked a little bit about BGG we're when back. we were there. Yeah. We survived. I know. So it was like... <laughs> Friday, so we were still there a couple more days. I'm still alive. <laughs> I have yeah, yeah. I have <laughs> seasonal allergies. I, I don't you have the concrete. I've been healthy as a horse. I know. I felt very. Uh, I'm like fortunate that I did not get like get sick. any yeah, sort no, of. No, I got actually. Yeah. It got that? worse when I got back because the seasonal allergies are like related to local fauna, not like mm. Texas fauna. Mm. Apparently. I mean, we had a buddy there who lost his voice entirely for like half a day. So I, I did was that. Like, he was grateful. teaching a lot of games. You no, know, I'll say that That's that happened games. every single night when we were demoing. At Pax West, every I was at popping. At some point, your voice just stopped. I was eating like, like yeah, I had, I'm I, done. I probably had like twelve to fifteen throat lozenges a day. You like eat constantly. cough drops like candy at that point. Was, and you're just like you're screaming. Continually. And you're, you're like, here. why have I put in a hundred pounds? Oh, <laughs> so think about it. It's all those not, cough drops. Not, <laughs> only, <laughs> not only were we <laughs> demoing, but I'm over here yelling. I'm like, hey, have you ever played Pitch Storm? And I'm like screaming at people. I'm like, all right, so you're gonna be in space at a shark. You know, like it was just me yelling at people like across the convention. It was intense. Verbally assaulting people. Yeah. From afar. Like, Have you ever played Super Fight? <laughs> Come play this game or else. Get three friends to come over. You don't have friends? I'll find some for you. Have you guys played Super Fight? Have you guys played Super Fight? Like it was, in, it was intense. I'll be your friend. All right. Well, did you guys enjoy BGG Con? It was Always. the best. It's like the best con. You guys it, are both it like was good. definitely great. I love it. I definitely love it. loved it. Definitely, <laughs> definitely no, loved it. it. How much better than the best can I say? I mean, no, I, I like, I've gone every year since I went the first year in 2015. So I got a little bit where I was like, man, should we be at PAX? What, you know, should we be at PAX Unplugged instead? Or BG? I think we just need to do both. I think so too. This one was oh, good yeah? for just straight yeah. up playing. I mean, like Eric Lang came over and played with us. Like we got to hang out with some other cool Minionaut people, like Raya, and like just people that like that are higher up in the industry that like came and sat down and taught us games. That's always yeah, fun. That's always we got to meet fun. some of his listeners. Well, that's one, right. That's his right. And some of we yours got to meet. Well. We got to meet his listener. I got to embarrass myself at, <laughs> at Everdale. When I when somebody came, they go, oh, is that Glory? They were like whispering, like, oh, is that Glory Hound? And I was like, I'm like, yeah, that is Glory Hound. And I'm like, and that's that's Greg from Hooked on Geek, and I'm Dr. Glory Hog. And they gave me a blank look. And She's I was like, looking at us like, and? I'm like, you've <laughs> only seen. She goes, well, yeah, I know her from Kickstarter. I'm like, yeah, our 30-minute segment. She was like, on Dice Tower. I was like, oh. oh. So oh. you've never seen us got oh, it that makes it was sense. That super makes awkward sense. Yeah. well i enjoyed my time there it was really great uh but definitely want to go back but to your point like people are more approachable at bgg definitely Con because it's a relatively small well, yeah because nobody knows who you are people are not afraid to just be like hey i'm no, demo no, I, mean, I don't mean us <laughs> i mean like people like you mentioned eric like, Lang, like oh. those kinds of people like because it's such a small con it's much easier to have FaceTime or have a chance to take a photo with or say, right. hey, I love your stuff well, to people there than at like, Vincent a Hawk, I would never name drop Vincent. Vincent, you, I do not name drop. I know, he's like Vincent. right out the <laughs> gate with name dropping. I've been hanging out with you too long. You don't feel like you're interrupting people right. with what right. they're doing because at Gen Con and Origins and stuff, people are rushing around and trying yeah. to get to booths and trying to get to panels. At this convention, you're just like, hey, people are hanging out and somebody passes by and you're like, hey, how's it going? I've seen you from here and you can talk with them yeah. because yeah. – Nobody's in a rush to get anywhere. That's a much more intimate kind of feel. Yeah. Right. Like I felt like usually I'll see somebody like, hey, I've seen you on this. Can I get a picture or something? But this time I was like, hey, you're Crystal from Board Game Blitz. Yeah. You mm -hmm. want to play a game? Yeah. Do you want to play with and us? She's like, sure. Which is yeah. always awesome. If you, this, that's if, not going to happen like Gen Con. Yeah. If you did that at Gen much. Con, they'd be like, uh, no, I have things I have to do. Sorry. I actually have to hour. be somewhere right now. Yeah. So see you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love about it. it I mentioned that specifically for Vincent. It's <laughs> <laughs> so who, every who name he I can see? think of. Mm. Uh, we met in the Netters. Uh, we oh, yeah. into, uh, I uh, I was uh, looking for a board game table and I ran into Netters and we sure. argued. We were trying to get the same table. That's right. You had to fight Netters. Mason in order Weaver to get the from table. the Five By. Didn't, right. have, didn't have to. I arm didn't wrestle, have to fight. Arm wrestling. No, I didn't arm wrestle she Netters. She's down. got a bird. I was surprised Anybody how with a bird is a little beat crazy. You at the arm wrestling. I don't trust people with birds as pets. They're just a little different. <laughs> What's wrong with birds? Uh, nothing. They were once dinosaurs. That's true. And they lost. We should befriend them. What if they turned back into dinosaurs? <laughs> is that how evolution works? <laughs> yeah. Okay. They go backwards. <laughs> I don't think I did so well. I think I've de evolved, if that's what you mean. <laughs> All right. Let's get started today. We have. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're yeah, we're going to talk about Kickstarters today. Sorry, we got distracted, guys. Well, BGG was a lot of fun. And BGG it was. was a lot of fun. She has bird she power. Has, bird does power. have bird she's got power. The, she's got the bones of a bird. Oh, God, they're hollow. I just, <laughs> I just want Netters to come out and be like, Kah! 
<laughs> I like the idea of her like, just, she starts to flap dude, like her arms and you're power. like, whoa, Nutter's lost it. But then bird she actually power. like takes off. Like that. Yeah. yeah. And, and, like, then, like, and then like the feather drifts down and you actually swallow it and you're like, oh God, now I've got bird flu and you die. That's what? the bird's power. What? Isn't that I how bird flu the bird's power was flight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Flight and need... regurgitating to their young. You're no. going to need a cough drop after this. Yeah, Jesus, seriously. What is Do you happening? need to go run to yeah. CVS real quick? <laughs> oh, they're there, buddy. We're here All for All right. You. So first up, we have Imagineers. <laughs> this is by Maple Games. It's for 12 plus, two to four players, and <laughs> takes about 40 minutes to play. This is definitely a uh, just a worker placement game. Like, I did not see... You make that sound like so brutal. Like you place the workers even against their own will. Who well, placed those workers? This is super heavy like worker placement. This is like if you were like Disney and you just stopped caring about pretense. No, you get on that train and work. Kind of. You're moving people around to different attractions. Listen, like, guests, you, you will go to this here, attraction. And you will like this attraction. No, but you're trying to get them to the attractions <laughs> they like, right? <laughs> You will enjoy this attraction because right. so I know she's taking you it like, like somebody coasters. out there who's like forcing them. We're like, I was thinking of it more like, no, you're like hey, a host. you guys might really enjoy this train yeah. ride. I can see you're wearing a choo choo <laughs> hat right now. You're and like, then you take them over. Yeah, there. I think it's more like you're, you're a not host. like you choo choo train go yeah. uh, and just pull them over. <laughs> they're, they're, I, think, I thought of it as like they're paying you and saying like, hey, is there any good like train rides? You know, if you're like, yes, right this way, sir. And okay. You escort them to their ride. So you guys have a much friendlier this take on this. This isn't a kidnapping <laughs> game. What? It's like playing Victoria Masterminds where you're like, oh, then you release the scientists. No, you no. use them to oh fuel your goodness. death machines. Oh, my goodness. I'm well, not releasing or scientists. Like the camels I'm and kidnapping them. Marco Polo. Oh, g- <laughs> Voyages of Marco Polo. They're like, you trade in three camels to get across the route. And I was like, wait a minute. Does that what mean the camels are dying? Camels? I mean, the camels are dying on the route. Like, they're just, that one dies. You get on the next one. That one dies. Like, you are definitely killing those camels. Well, what I mean by heavy worker placement on this is that you're not only nice placing workers like, on, on these to make the attractions, but you're also making sure that those workers in different areas are managed and then applied to certain areas. So but this doesn't look like, like a heavy game, though, do you, you don't think? I don't right? think it's particularly no, I think it's heavy. A light I just placement. think right. that there's not a lot of other mechanics in it besides I from that. Saying, you know what I'm saying? How many mechanics you want? I guess. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you know what? Maybe some tile laying with that. It has a legacy kind of element. Building. It doesn't have a legacy element. Well, I guess element. you could tear up cards if you wanted to. Yeah. When somebody like, have a whenever <laughs> you place one of your meeples on a worker placement spot, you rip up that spot or you mark it out with a Sharpie. No, Nobody no, else can use it again. That's not what you do, guy. Any <laughs> game can be a legacy game if you've you got you a lighter. <laughs> <laughs> that's like any pizza could be a personal pizza if you try hard enough. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> Well, what did you guys think about this game? Oh, well, I'm just thinking about pizza. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I like the price tag. Yeah, it's what forty. It's finally bucks? in Greg's wheelhouse. I think the looks of it are a little. It looks a little mass markety. Like it's a Greg's little. Greg's a little fish. You know, he likes. It's a little lack. Big games for tiny prices. <laughs> Who doesn't like good prices? You think it's you have such a large collection. I know you've spent more than thirty dollars on a game before. <laughs> of course, I said the price was good. You think it's a little lackluster? Why is that? No, I mean the look, the like look the of it, like the it. cards yeah. are yeah. just text on cards. Like I don't know, it, it doesn't aesthetically doesn't jump out at me. What do you guys think? It's just square tiles. Yeah, they're like little attractions on the square tiles here that yeah. are different looking and stuff like that. You know what? I would um, buy this 100% if it was the Nightmare Edition and you were like physically throwing people on like a death coaster. Murder Park? Yeah, so if it exactly. Was like murder Park. You throw them in a haunted house where there's actual clowns trying to kill you. <laughs> I would play that game. That would take the wholesome family theme of this game, though, yeah. and totally just wreck that. Yeah, I already so. have a family. I don't need to build another I've one. I've got by plenty of wholesome <laughs> games. Yeah. I need yeah. some more horror. Listen, listen. <laughs> I think this might be aimed more at, like, a family-style game, though. You yeah, know? so I was saying, I think it's yeah. fairly light. Vincent knows that. He's heard the stories of my ultimate table flipping. <laughs> <laughs> I flipped more than one table. One was That's in Iraq. Right. Oh, I think we made Ryan hungry. He's like pizza. <laughs> oh. I do seriously want pizza now, though. We should get pizza after this. I'm in. I'm in for it. Are you? Well, or are no. you rushing back to your wife, like you said? <laughs> exactly. And on this particular one, you're managing not only <laughs> the board state and what's happening on the board state, but you're also managing what's in front of you because you're Ooh. trying to build like you're your own your special dream little yeah dream coaster, mm-hmm. and you're trying to get points for that so you can get points Ooh. on the board as well as death coaster 5000 yeah uh, you can name that coaster whatever you would like like absolutely oh thanks so much robert white we appreciate it we it'll You're welcome be i put a YouTube lot of work into her board game breakfast segment. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> basically have to hand hold her the whole time i do nothing i'm sorry i feel like i've played a lot of amusement park games and they rarely you just played meeple circus 
Actually, I like that a lot. I didn't think of that as an amusement park, but it's in that same vein. Yeah. yeah. Most of them have been a little like, I don't know, none of them quite gotten it right for me. Like, this is one I'd like to try first. Because, like, Steam Park I liked, but I didn't, like, it didn't blow me away. I've heard mixed reviews about Unfair. Arcadia is okay. I think I have both amazing. those games. I think they're both on my shelf of shame. Really? Yeah, I, I know we have Unfair for sure. I, just, um, I think I have the other I, one. I've I just, yet to really be blown away by like a theme park game. Yeah, I'm just not really? super into the theme personally, which even, is important to yeah. me. Even Dinosaur Island felt a little long what? for what it was. But I, I backed Dulasaur, which should be here any day. I know. I'm excited I about made that. a post earlier about like, do you ever like avoid a game? Because you're like, so I, I almost don't want to play Dinosaur Island and right. then play Dulasaur and then be like, oh man, it miss, it's missing this, this, and this. I, and think, this. Gonna do I think my point with that is just that like, I want to try this first because I've been kind of let down with this theme in the past. I want okay. something to do it right, but for me, this is like a try before you buy. I feel like this is geared more towards being a family and super kid friendly game. Yeah. Uh, so, which like, we just I mean, got Chronicles of Crime, which is the same thing. Oh yeah, it's, super kid friendly. It's not the same Murder thing all the time. I think that for the price for forty dollars, and if you're looking for games for your kids to play and for you to play with them and stuff like that, this would be an excellent game for that. Because it's going to be like a ramp up into more heavy worker placement games is how I feel about this. Uh, uh, yeah, what's yeah. The, I mean, what is the age group on this? 12? 12 plus? It says 12 yeah, plus. Yeah, it's 12 plus. Yeah. But, but it, it doesn't I, look that But complex. it even says it, they gave it two out of five uh, maple leaves as I far as complexity. I know that our complexity. kid would be totally fine playing this game. Yeah. And any other kid that's been raised in that board game community and playing board games, this would be totally fine. It looks them. like something you can play with eight-year-olds. Absolutely. You haven't Absolutely. mentioned it before, Vincent, but it's cool. We casually picked on that you might like it. you might like our show. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right. So it's not yay super or nay. obvious. Great. Nay for me, but I don't think it looks bad. I just, I, I just, I want to try it first. Doctor Glory House. <laughs> I'm gonna pass. I'm just not You're digging the theme right now. I'm just, I, I mean, I'm willing to play it, but yeah, I don't really feel the need to just throw my money down on the table. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would say that if you are interested in that family sort of portion of this, I would totally get this game, but our kid is actually past these types of games. So for me, it is not as interesting. So, But it looks our like a cute little game to play. Our kid's so smart. Yeah, I saw her soloing an 18xx <laughs> game as I came she out. Was. I was she, had the meeple, she had the Meeple Lady Tweezers. Just <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> She's going to be a pro. She's going to be a pro. She was playing on. Battlestar Galactus. She's playing five parts. She's playing them all by herself. <laughs> Next up, we have Rallyman GT. Choo. This is by Holy Grail Games. It's for 14 plus, Choo. one to six Choo. players, and it lasts about 60 minutes. Choo. Now, this is based off of the old Rallyman game, which is that? a roll and move game. No, but it's smart. I was just going to say that. Greg, are you okay with this? This is a roll and move. I think it's marked up How do you in feel that, about that high six point something on BGG. So it's a decent game. It has a lot of following to it. I think it's, it's well, it's like a King of Tokyo ish style game. It's probably like low complexity but fun. But right? what they did with this is they took like the base rules from that game of just the roll and move, and then they completely redid the game as far as the board and everything. I mean, if you look at the original board, it's just a board with some like little l-shaped roads and stuff on it this one is modular you can it's put very it together pretty. yeah you can build your actual track as you go around and stuff and how hard it's going to be like it's they did a lot with a very simple me themed mechanic it's like punch <laughs> you really hard i know thanks for I that had extreme, thanks for that i had extreme <laughs> itch. it's on camera i know like I, my hand like slipped when to, she like, takes <laughs> you to court she has video proof that you smacked that's right her. that's right uh chris michelotti loves unfair a sucker for Roller Coaster Tycoon. So maybe that's up uh, Chris's alley for that, for Imagineers on that. Yeah, maybe we should, like, I don't know. Like, I, I just haven't played them. Yeah. So I think. And Vincent Hawk says that he backed Rallyman GT. So, I mean, it looks like a fantastic game if you like racing games. I would be interested to see how this compares, though, to some of the other racing games. I know that we recently yeah. picked up another modular. Hollywood Death mod Race. Yeah, we picked up another modular. I think that it's a d little bit different theme. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say this is more straightforward. Yeah, I'm just gonna be honest. I've never really played a bunch of racing games. They've never super appealed to me. Yeah, like they're ones that I I typically pass off because they typically, when you look at them, they look more kind of like boring or more like themeless. You know, besides, oh, I'm going in a circle. I don't like watching <laughs> racing like NASCAR. I understand the thrill so behind it, but you don't like racing in general. Yeah, I just don't. Maybe it's because I'm fat and old, and I don't like to run. <laughs> Does it? I'm not all about of racing. Fat old people like NASCAR. Don't you think? <laughs> oh, great. Do you feel like this 
I mean, as you were looking through this, did you feel like it added anything that you haven't seen in other racing games? That's what I kept. I'm going to exclude kinda, myself because I just haven't. I don't think I've played a racing like game. Played, period. Like Downforce is excellent. Formula D is. I went into. It's been around a long time. Tiles. You made a good point. I went into Hollywood Death Race because of the nostalgia. Like yeah, the Hollywood Death Race gives and, you something. You know, extra Batman and yeah, but that's that why I went like, into you're it. You're fighting people with weapons and sure, stuff sure. with their car. With this right. one, you're actually just trying, racing. Well, you're. Trying to figure out how to maneuver around the track the best with without the role getting, that you get. Right, without they, like blowing they, out yeah. tires. They all stuff. have that. But this, okay, so. You know what I mean? Like, ooh. what is this ad that's different? Do all of I them change the tracks where they go down from like three to like two or a smaller track? So, like, you when like you get to a cutoff. Well, you get well, up the, you to a cutoff lanes, intersection. So you yeah, you start yeah. losing lanes. So, yeah. you really have to work on how you're maneuvering most, most of, most around people that. and stuff. Yeah. I mean, like Formula D has multiple tracks, and they have tight corners where you have to be careful that you don't roll too much. You yeah, can damage but they your still have there. all the same tracks or, or like yeah, around it, right? So you can, you know, go between lanes, but you still have yeah. that plethora of area to move with. This, this one, just felt like too you could be like cut off. To me. I don't know. There wasn't anything new that mm -hmm. like jumped out at me as like, oh, this has got this cool new gimmick. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I want like some kind of like death metal race if I'm gonna do it. It's got to be like um. Sort of I won't, death metal. Yeah. Race. Well, like what was that one that used to be Twisted Metal for like PlayStation back in the day? Or even this one, the Hollywood Death Race kind of reminded me more of like the Micro Machines one where you'd race around and try to go around pools of syrup. It was like an old Nintendo game, and you're like, oh crap, syrup. Okay. Try to go around it. So it said. So Pedro says it's not really a simple. Roll and move because the dice are not the spaces the car moves. Oh, but, but you're shifting gears. You're shifting right. gears as you're going around corners and stuff like that with it. So you have to make sure you have the right shifting gears as you right. maneuver or through else it. Or you can like spin out. Right. Yeah. Right. But I don't know how much that adds to it because I mean most games it's about the speed and then you have to base your speed as far as what turns you're going to make. Um, well, you, I, don't, I feel like you're not going to love every game. For me personally, this is – I don't typically play racing games. I don't particularly like the theme in general. I'm not opposed to them. I've never really played a bunch of them, so I'm kind of almost disqualifying myself. Well, like this is more like inform and so say, like, hey, if you like these types of games, maybe check this one out. Here's why I think you would like it, and that's because whenever Ooh. you're rolling the dice, you have to figure out what you're going to do with those dice in order to maneuver yourself around this board. So that is like – that's not something you can think out or plan out for a very long time, but you have like your role and then you have to make decisions right then. And yeah. you're really good at doing that in games where you take maybe tactical. a crappy role and then you figure out the best way That's to life lessons. get through there. You get roll crap in life and you just roll with it, baby. But that is probably what really sets it apart from other racing games because with a lot of other racing games, you have like your little boards and then you have like your speeds and you can shift down through that and you're not really yeah. limited okay. by what you have. But with this particular one, you are limited by whatever dice you roll. Like if you roll really crappy, you're only going yeah. so far with that, you know? Is that a good thing? For me, I don't like rolling <laughs> games, so. Yeah, I, just <laughs> I don't like games where you roll stuff. So. Have you guys played Downforce? Like, Downforce is a racing game, but it has, like, this gambling element. So, yeah. like, there's a little extra layer on it that's interesting. Same thing with this Hollywood Death Race. Like, it's interesting because it's nostalgic and you're playing these characters. Yeah. Well, this I like just feels too straightforward to me. I don't feel like it does anything I think it'll enough be different that I'm, like, really excited about. I liked Hollywood it. Death Race because it was, like, a combat battle yeah, while yeah. racing. This is just a pure racing game for enthusiasts that love those type of games i think I just, right i just i think I it's gonna think be it one of those bad. games just, that just, sorry go ahead oh, I, like, well kind of like what you're saying no, no, i, I feel ahead. like it's one of those games where <laughs> if you're into racing games this yes. one might add something you might be a better judge on this one than it, we are because personally here we don't play a lot of racing it games. definitely looks like a good production the cars look cool you know the yeah. nice the look, production you know, from the track that's modular the old rally man to this gt version is insane like I went back and I reviewed all the old Rallyman stuff, and I was like, wow, they really upgraded yeah. everything in this game and made it where I'm, like, really interested in that modular board there and creating the sort of tracks that I want to create for that. I think in the end, though, it does matter if you are a fan of racing games or not. I do think this has Buy it anyways. that uniqueness with the rolling in it that makes it harder to play. You know, it makes it more interesting to play with that. So, Greg. I'm going to pass. You're going to pass. Yeah. I have to play a racing game before I back one, really. I'm just – because you're right. Hollywood Death Race was, like, more combat and nostalgia, which is why I wanted to play it. This one, um, until I play more racing games, I just I just don't know. So I'm not going to back anything without actually having played some of them. 
I like this one. I the only portion that I I have a problem with is the dice rolling thing because I love the racing s- game style. Uh, but you should try if you haven't played Downforce, you should try Downforce before you know. back this because Downforce is card play. And and there's first like drafting elements and there's the gambling part. I'm sorry, is this a Kickstarter segment or is this uh, here's games that Greg likes <laughs> segment? <laughs> I'm just kidding, crap. If we're talking about a game that's racing, I'm gonna <laughs> compare it to other racing games and say how like how you. does it stack? Just do up? what I do and say I've never played one. <laughs> I think that if I had not backed Hollywood Death Race, which is also a racing game with modular tiles and stuff like that, yeah. I would totally 100% be on this because it looks really interesting. I like the modular track and being able to maneuver around and stuff. I like how the track goes from three lanes down to two lanes, so you have to start avoiding people in those spaces and stuff. I like a lot of things about this game, but having already backed Hollywood Death Race a couple months ago... I'm probably not going to be able to back this one, but look at this. Look at the sweet bridge guys that you get to go. Those are pretty cool. Stuff. Yeah. Why can't they make these with like actual little slot cars? On this on this I just want a remote control car. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I keep trying to convince my kid to want one for Christmas. The production is great. And the price is great too. Room. Like, was it 50? I think was, yeah, that it's was? about, fi- I have on here 56, 56. 56 so, and none of these are American made games. I think they're all like overseas for, for modular part. based board tiles and everything i would say that's an excellent price yeah that seems reasonable you know and you're going to be able to continually make this a different game all the time so if i had not backed back that i would totally back this guys i think it's a really fantastic looking game and it's a huge upgrade from the original rally a lot right there she said fantastic a lot too fantastical (laughs) she's she's mixing it up it's just fantastic now it's fantastical yeah see play both at the same time so what you could do is you could use that bridge to cross over the hollywood death race oh and there you go and then you go go right over and then you could do your tandem gaming where you're playing two racing games at once where they go over and under each other like an old Hot Wheels game. That's right. Oh, we should just play Hot Wheels. Well, and they added we'll roll those dice little for boards, the Hot Wheels. Like new stuff on those little boards. They did an excellent job on this, guys. So. Do you guys see the way they painted those lines? So <laughs> straight. Very straight. Very straight lines. All right. So next up, we have the Big City 20th Anniversary <laughs> Edition. <laughs> this looks fantastic. So I got to see the pieces in person for this, and they recently did the uh 20th anniversary for tenth. container oh tenth not anniversary 20th. yeah mm-hmm. 10th anniversary for container which same turned designer out amazing like just the pieces in that game are fantastic they're it's it's like a huge quality game and i like the rules that they added in that i'm interested to see what they do fully with this i've already seen the pieces you can go on our instagram and take a look because I took pictures of that, but the pieces look amazing. Yeah, they had well, them at the BG Con. They're so, so detailed. Yeah. Really and if you like so Container, detailed. or you play this game, this game has been out for 20 years, it's going to be a limited run. So you pretty much have to yes. get on Kickstarter, or you probably just won't get it. It's not yeah. going to go to retail as far as they know. Well, and that's the huge thing that they said was, you know, with it's the Container an expensive game to 10th make. Anniversary Edition, they are not reprinting that period. So whatever's out there is out there, and if you don't have yours, you're never going to get it if you don't find it. You know, that, that's it. That's all Because it seems doing. like their niche are these big games that have a lot of pieces that are expensive to reproduce, so their margins are probably pretty small. Right. And the so they same, don't want to put it out to retail and have them sit. The same with this one they're saying is that they're going to do the Kickstarter, they're going to make a little bit extra, and then that's it. They're never reprinting that. With this sort of quality and stuff, like that's all they're gonna do with this. Glory Hound's ratcheting up that FOMO. So much FOMO. <laughs> all FOMO all the time. Well, I mean, I, I was sad that I missed the container <coughs> Kickstarter because it looked so good. Once I actually sat down, I played it. I looked at it all the pieces. It is really good. I'm like, oh, I could murder somebody with this ship. This is <laughs> awesome. It's like a game and she a said murder ship, weapon. By the way. Ship. Yeah. <laughs> I like I should think I can murder. Friendly, guys. I like I should think I can murder somebody with this ship, and then there's like a katana on the wall, and you can just use that, I guess. <laughs> it won't make an interesting crime story if you don't do it with like. I'm pretty an sure if somebody thing. uses like you know no? the the sword from Lord of the Rings to murder somebody. It'd be interesting because like isn't that thing if you blunt? Get angry Glory while playing. Hound in the dining room with well, the ship component. <laughs> if you get angry while playing container i mean you can always pick up the ship and throw it i'd rather throw the metal like cthulhu dice because that'll be really hard to explain the big it was a cult he was part of a cult cult. uh, there you go you just pick it up and you're like ah just throw it on somebody death by baby (laughs) like like jason versus uh what was it jason versus freddy was it jason versus freddy i think so when he's in space 
There's a space one. Know. And there's oh like God. a person. The there's a person. No, there's a person <laughs> yeah, in the sleeping bag. And he grabs the sleeping bag and swings around and starts like pillow fighting somebody. But it was like with a person in the sleeping bag and kills the other person with a person. That's the one that got the Oscar, right? That's super that metal. That one was, <laughs> yeah. Too it much. was super campy on too purpose. Much. It was yeah. like Jason 2000 or something yeah. like that where he gets defrosted. What do you guys think about this? Well, my first you guys imp- both got to see it yeah, in person it's beautiful, as well. And I'm sure it's a good design, but my first impression is just the sticker shock. I hate to always be that guy, but. You are always Which that Which is that $130, $130 for this. 30 bucks is yeah. a lot of money. That's cheap compared to how many bur- Oh, no, it's not. That's a lot of burritos. They're doing 80 miniatures. The, the buildings are beautiful. Like 80 Kickstarter miniatures. I mean, you're you co- could make a diorama to, with these. You ca- could. You have to compare this to a cool mini or not style game. Yeah. Because you're going to be spending over $100 with cool mini or not. Because you're getting like a gajillion miniatures with that How game. How many? A gajillion. Was that gajillion or digillion? That's gajillion with gajillion. a G and a J. Gajillion. Gajillion. Exactly. You got it. You got it. It's a scientific term. So I think that the price Jason point X. is That's actually... Right. Jason X right for this because of the miniatures that you're getting it might it. be justifiable but you it's know? still a lot that's all i think the cool <laughs> thing about this is if you're a fan of the designer he did pass away um but a lot of these expansions yeah, the expansion did. they're adding to this yeah. was already approved by him they were in the works of it and they kind of have to go ahead detail. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. so it's not like some random guy just jumped in and said oh i'm just gonna do this no yeah. and they you know it's been 10 years since he passed away and or, or more actually i think now and this is stuff that he was looking into before he went and so it's something that he oh, supported yeah, right. and wanted and to they actually did. They do. They took his right. notes they that he was doing and from it. And Plus, they had already they were in they talks finished, of it already. Yeah, they had finished fleshing those out but and this, then it's created like, that. It's kind of like Brass, right? Like Brass was out for a few years. So you knew when the next Brass came out, you could be like, I've already played the regular Brass. This is just going to be better. I feel like with this one, this game's been out for 20 years technically. You could probably find the older one. Maybe, maybe play it with a friend who has it and then know for sure if you want to play it or not and if it's worth backing. Well, and with container, just do that in the they next 13 days added or so. stuff to that game that made it tons better. Yeah. So I feel well, like you should do on a reprint. Well, that's not always the case. Well, not a reprint Sometimes on a reimagining. They usually they add. altered the economics of it a little bit because so, it was it was breakable. The economics of it were kind of breakable right. in the past. And they, 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 they created a way to up. have an infusion of yeah, money. Yeah, and then they were so like, that, all right, now yeah. we have a better game and with better components. So this was by Mercury so, too, though. So it's a, yes. I would assume well, yeah, they're doing the same thing. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying is that they're what adding. They're adding not just quality of the pieces. Did you but say nachos? Also, what the? <laughs> Whoa! I sound like you said nachos. I'm real hungry, guys. <laughs> She's trying to make a point. They're adding to the quality nachos. of the game. I don't yeah. know where the hell you got nachos from. <laughs> You're like, the they're not cho- of the game. You said they're not just like that, and it sounded like nachos. <laughs> Why does anyone watch? <laughs> oh, the nachos. And they're adding to the game itself and creating yeah. Can a better game. Can we get Chipotle game. today? Oh, and... <laughs> no, we're spending all our burritos on these games today, uh, uh, guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hungry. I like That's the, our burrito money right there. One hundred thirty dollars. She doesn't. She doesn't. Let, she, doesn't, she, doesn't <laughs> she doesn't let me Genius. eat anymore, guys. She wants me to look fit, thin on the camera. I like that you paused it here, and because that accentuates the fact that the, the not only are they beautiful miniatures, but they'll be painted different colors. Um, oh, absolutely! Yeah, they'll be in it's different not just colors the gray. and stuff. Yeah, here they are. They show with the blue. Here's the thing: they'll be in the right colors, okay? Because there was another city game I played where I kept on getting confused with the colors. Do you as remember far what that like, was? Expanse City. Yeah, Expanse City. as far as where because there was blue red, buildings and then they had they blue had red for tiles. residential and I'm like you don't no do it was red for green for residential and blue for the city. Okay. Yeah, and the problem is they also had blue no, tiles and green, green tiles. They had to have blue for the residential because I'm like thinking Sim City in my it head. It was green. I'm thinking it was Sim green because I kept saying oh because if it was like residential you're gonna have more parks. trees and more yeah. like uh-huh. suburbies. That's how I remembered it, so I didn't mess it up like you. I don't know. But it makes sense. I feel like the colors make more sense in this one. Well, the, like a, a blue the PlayStation? The other one yeah. Don't. yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Like. I'll back that. <laughs> I mean, I'll back that. That makes sense. I'm not necessarily going to spend $130. This tiny little park Look how here. That is, though. Yeah, it was so awesome in person. I you feel can like see it, the, like the little Washington bricks. Monument in there. Yeah, you can see the little bricks the around the fountain and stuff. Yeah, it is. I'm just so going to cool live looking. there. The pictures. If I get shrank, do this no if justice. If you're a city they manager really in real life, you should back this game just to use the pieces to like plan <laughs> and out. And then your, you can plan to out your use city. Your, do your actual work. <laughs> That's right. Always entertaining. God, now I just want popcorn. <laughs> Dang it, I'm so hungry. Do you think we could get a pizza Why with nacho we... toppings and popcorn? Yeah, on I it? think you can. Oh my god, this is god, America, guys. isn't it? <laughs> 
Last oh I checked. God. Last I checked. <laughs> All right. So, Greg. It's too. It's just too much. Too much. And I know they're going to uh, tweak the mechanics, but it still is a 20-year-old Those game. buildings. So there's that concern that it'll feel a little dated. Did um, brass feel dated for you? It, like it did. I think that was an How argument. did container feel for you? Container did not. Did not feel dated Because it was 10 loved. years. Yeah. So 2007 was a, just a, a hell of a year. It was actually. It was for board for games. games. Yeah. BG, all the good games. Oh that man. Two thousand and seven. Yeah. I, I, it's it's just a little much for me. A little expensive. I think it's great. And if you're a super fan of this designer, like you said, because they're bringing out things that he was intending to do with it, th- you've got to back this. If you're if you yeah, I think if you I think camp. if you like container or this style of yeah. game, it's a must back. I think for me personally, since I haven't played container or this game. It's not a must back for me. I don't know enough about this designer to actually like feel like I have to get this. But if this seems like something that you would like you and your friends get together and play, then I think it's kind of like a no brainer. It seems easy. Our viewer Vincent wants to know if this is a food show. It can be. <laughs> it's gonna be a food Vincent, show. Let me give here you a in tip. a minute for Doctor Laurie. Make air, <laughs> so you air pop popcorn. You take white truffle oil. You put it uh, over don't there. Don't tell him our truffle popcorn secret. That's my secret. Jeez. I'll message you after. <laughs> we, can, we can edit this in post, right? This isn't live or anything. All right. So I feel like since I missed the container. She's going to say yes. Since I missed I the container. She's going to say wow. Kickstarter. She has some serious FOMO, doesn't she? That's your money, too. I would be really, <laughs> anymore, it's not. really upset to miss this one. The pieces look amazing. I love that they're going to add new stuff to the game. They did an this excellent thing. job with container. I am... <laughs> 100% on board with this. Whoa! I feel like confetti should fall. <laughs> like, I'm like sad because like that cool mini or novel with like, you know, Death May Die looked good and she was like, nah, it's too much. But I like this one. Okay, so there's the something. the buildings are the right color. No, no, no. There's something about city builders <laughs> that is like that so style. exciting. I'm like, yeah. I just want to build a tiny I am city. I'm so glad to hear you're backing just this. Just want to build a tiny city. Wonderful. I keep trying to explain to her, we have <laughs> civilization. Just play it on the computer. Calm down. I miss the old Sim City from. Super NES. You're not that gonna have little. Best. You're not gonna have little people walking around here going like they like they have to pee and doing like little weird dances. Yeah. Did you guys ever play the Super NES version of SimCity? I've, oh my I've god, played it some was amazing. It PC was amazing. versions. Of I can Sim get City you that. I will buy I you a Super life. Nintendo and that game for less than this for sure. <laughs> Vincent's like, hot damn, she likes it. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna back this. I can't, when is I can't it? Not when is it deliver? It. I, I gotta figure out how long I need to be your friend right. still, <laughs> so I can play your copy. August That's of that 2019. Far. August of 2019. Well, Sweet. they have all the pre-production pieces. Do you think you'll be burned stuff, out on me so. by August? <laughs> Probably. Oh, dang it. <laughs> it's getting dicey. I mean, it looks amazing, guys. I'm going to have to. I was tempted to tell her about that sale, the local sale where she could get yeah. a container for 90 but now I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to go pick up a container, too. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Dr. If Glory you would have Hog. spent $78, dollars, $78 dollars on Welcome to, you could have got this. I feel like we <laughs> saved you guys go the 79 We route? saved money at BGG because we didn't purchase that many games. So then, like. That's not how that works. That is exactly how that works. That's not how that works. That's exactly how that works. Here's what we learned today, well, viewers paying your mortgage is overrated. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Glory Hog's like, no, no. <laughs> who, needs, who needs your bills? Who needs power and water and a, All right. a house? This is the mic she makes me use. <laughs> but we're going to back this game for 130 Listen, real talk right here. you still sound <laughs> fantastic talk. with that mic. Just fantastic. <laughs> your voice fantastic. is so, like, so radio beautiful. ready. It doesn't matter what mic you use, so buddy. Be- so beautiful, okay? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is the best episode yet. She's like, you should wait on getting Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> but this we're all about. You already got Red Dead Redemption. Happy wife, happy I can, I use can a get second my, copy. I can get my... <laughs> Big cities, okay. Oh, yeah. Pedro's this costs out way we more. We might want to be able to pay for food at some yeah, point. No, you know what? Hungry. You know what? We just won't eat out at Chipotle ten times I or think something. That's <laughs> not even enough. That's only seventy bucks. I think Kickstarter is your diet plan. <laughs> We're spending yeah. so much money on Kickstarter, we can't afford groceries this week. Let's burn a few pounds. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. You okay, me, well, thank Vincent. you so much for joining us, guys. We appreciate <laughs> you guys all hanging out with us today and talking about board games and giving us Rip. comments. Rest in peace, Wallet. <laughs> about, what you're talk- about what we're talking about and stuff. I love hearing comments from you guys and what you guys think about the games as we're talking about it. That's always super fun. And, Greg, where can we find you at? Uh, you can follow me on uh, Hooked on Geek on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. It's an audio podcast we put out every Monday. 
Um, do, you, do you have a Venmo? <laughs> 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 Follow me over there. Yeah, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. What about you, buddy? You can find me on Dr. Warthog. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much Aww. in all the same places. That's so sad. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll be trying to figure out how to play Massive Darkness, the other game we got two years ago oh, that we haven't played. Oh, that's our games of shame. We can't talk about that right now. We can't talk about Everybody's that right, right now. Everybody's got a few. Make sure if you're Should watching this. Do you have this, a few that cost over 100 something dollars each? <laughs> no. <laughs> Make sure if we you're watching this buddy. that you like and subscribe to us on YouTube and ring that bell ring for it. our shenanigans that we do. So if we end up playing a game and that drops, you guys get notifications for that. And other than that, I think that's it. Check out our Instagram if you want to see some of those close-up pictures of the big city pieces uh, at Gloryhound with two Ds on that. And I think that's about it. Thanks we'll for see tuning you guys. in, guys. Yeah, we'll see you guys all next week. Have a good one and uh, have if a great can happy afford holiday. The lights. Don't get ran over by Black Friday stuff. Order Amazon, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> the show brought to you by Amazon. <laughs> that's right. That we need some sponsors <laughs> like that. All right, see you guys later.